what I have here is my old mixer board. Say you don't like what you have. I mean, I have reverb and stuff in there, but that's pretty much it. What if you wanted to do more precise EQ or add some compression? I could add a little bit of EQ here, but it's not that in depth, and I don't have any compression uh, compressors here whatsoever on this mixer board. So in comes Reaper. The cool thing about this is that you could use Reaper's EQ. Check that out. This is real time, so I could do whatever I need to do with this plugin. You know, maybe I wanted to add a little bit uh, more bass, right? A little bit, a little bit more like that. What do I got next on the chain? This is the Reverberate plugin, and you could adjust the parameters and everything like that. And then I have the Reaper compressor. I've dialed it in uh, a brick, as a brick wall limiter, so I could really slam on the piano and not have to worry about my live stream audio distorting. So let me play a little bit and you could hear Reaper in action. Now you're probably wondering, how do I get the audio out from my computer into my smartphone when I, when I go live? Yes, it's very simple. And so I'll show you how I do this. Okay, so in the back of my mixer board, I have a USB out. So my mixer is equipped with USB. And now that USB is going into the USB input of my Mac Mini. Now I have the headphone out of my Mac Mini going all right here, the white cable going into a Sabrent USB audio adapter. So it's taking the Mini analog input to USB, right? And now all I need is a USB to a lightning adapter, which goes into my iPad. So my iPad is the first generation iPad Pro, which I'm using my streaming software and that's how it works. There's a couple things you need to know in Reaper and how to route this audio. Let me show you right now how that's done. When you're looking at the home screen, you wanna click on the top left which says Reaper, preferences, and go to device. Now, input device is USB audio codec, which is my mixer board, correct? Which has the USB out, USB audio codec. Now. You're not gonna see this marked. You wanna check this mark right here, and it says, allow use of different, in, different input and output devices. I want to use a different output. So I wanna use my headphone output of my computer. So once I click that box, it gives me an option. I wanna click built-in output. And that's what allowing, is allowing me to bring out the audio from my Mac into my iPad. Hey, thanks again for watching this video. Can you believe it that I'm running all the plugins through Reaper in real time? There is very little latency and it didn't really make much of a difference while I was filming this live stream. So just thought I'd let you know that. And also the audio is in mono. There is a way to get um, the signal in stereo through a live stream coming out of Reaper. It just has to do with what type of adapters you're using. If you wanna know more about that, I created a tutorial video that you could check out directly below just by clicking the link in the description. And that's my gift to you, a free tutorial video when you sign up to the live stream revolution and uh, it'll explain everything there. So thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video.